Hi, this is Fennec Vintages. We're just going to show you how to put on latex rubber moulds. We can basically put this on any piece of furniture, mirrors, just to make it look a bit more shabby chic or a bit more French style. All we're going to do to start with is measure very accurately where we're going to put the moulding so that it doesn't look off. If you get a little bit out of sync, a little bit off level, it's going to look pretty rough. So I've marked and I'm just going to put a nice dark line both sides so we can all see where we're going to put our moulding. This is the moulding. All we do now, check it's going to fit. Beautiful. We're going to turn the moulding over. I use Sally's Orfix, but you can use Gorilla Grip or any of these proprietary bands. Just make sure that it has about a 10 minute playing time, none of the instant grab stuff. I'm going to fill the moulding a little bit fuller than normal, just so you can see, just like icing a cake. The idea is that we get a little bit that comes out all the way around. So adhesive on the moulding, and we're going to put that in position. And all I'm going to do is gently from the middle, just push down and make sure there's a little bit of a bead all the way around. I put a little bit too much on just so you can see what it looks like. The moulding's now affixed. All we have to do is clean it up. To do this, we take a blade. I use mat cutter blades. There's a sharp side on one end and a blunt side on the other. I use the blunt blade side so I don't cut myself. We just tip it at a slight angle, go all the way around, take off the extra adhesive, just working our way around the whole moulding, taking off the vast majority of the adhesive. A few little bits get caught, that's okay, we can tidy those up later. Always better to put a little bit too much on than a little bit too less, because the last thing you want to do is have to start going around feeding more glue underneath the moulding. If you get a few little bits on the moulding, it's quite safe just to hold it in place and just rub around. You can see they all just come around, come off quite easily. That's the majority of the adhesive off. All I'll do now is support the moulding and take those little bits off. Really cool thing with Annie Sloan decorative chalk paints, we can basically paint straight over that latex moulding and it will stick on. In fact, Annie Sloan's chalk paint will adhere to most surfaces without priming, without preparing, without undercoating. This is a pine board, nothing to it, no prep at all. I'll literally dip my brush in and I can paint straight over that. Any which way. I'll paint over my moulding just to show you that it will actually stick onto the moulding as well. Get into those corners. You might notice I'm using one of Annie Sloan's brushes as well. They're awesome. They hold a lot more paint than a normal brush. They're made of hog's bristle. They last an awful long time. They'll last and last and last, providing you actually wash them out properly. We tend to wash them out in lukewarm water. So that's my latex rubber moulding painted, one coat.